Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Hi everybody, hi Raphael Walter. Hello. Thank you for being with us today. You are architect. In two or three sentences, could you introduce us to your architectural practice? Right. So, my name is Raphael Walter. I uh, graduated as an architect uh, about five years ago, and I uh, am one of the three founders of the cooperative Anatomy d'Architecture, based in Paris and Marseille. And in a few words, our practice focuses on alternative Um, types of constructions based on, on very important ecological uh, principles on different levels. First, in terms of uh, construction, for example, we uh, work mostly with natural materials, traditional materials. We work with uh, straw bales, hemp, clay, things like that, and we try to promote this kind of uh, materials um, through uh, our projects. Uh, we uh, we also focus on research. We do a lot of research uh, in our practice. Research is actually the what was the, the founding base of our uh, of anatomy and architecture. Two years ago, we started project with uh, Matisse Raget, uh, my uh, architect colleague, and Emmanuel Stern, who is an anthropologist, and um, we did a research project called the Tour de France des Maisons Écologiques, the Tour de France of Ecological Houses. And we documented uh, 30 different projects all, uh, all around France. And we, from this uh, research, we made uh, an exhibition. And then we published a book. And the idea was to communicate to um, so mainstream, mainstream audience uh, what exists in terms of uh, alternative types of constructions in France. And we keep doing this type of research projects today, uh, still focusing on materials and, and different regions in France. And the third thing we, we focus on in our practice is um, teaching and transmission we, uh, through different um, mediums, through uh, classes in architectural schools and such, through lectures, through uh, participative uh, construction weeks, as we've done recently in Normandy. I think that, uh, that's about it. Okay. Um, now, uh, can you tell us about your emblematic project in Normandy? It's very different of your experience in New York. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, in uh, my previous experience of architecture, before founding uh, Anatomy d'Architecture, I uh, experienced uh, ecological uh, architecture a little bit Uh, when I was working in the United States, in New York, and it was a uh, very interesting project, an ecological house. But um, uh, You are more purist. Yes, the thing with, with this house I used to, uh, I worked on in the, in the United States, it was an ecological house with uh, wood and wood on the facades, uh, insulation made of natural material and stuff like this. But there were so many dead ends as well, like... Uh, photovoltaic panels from uh, from Spain and uh, the foundations were made entirely of concrete and many materials were coming from afar, sometimes from the other side of the world, things like this. And now what we're doing with Anthony d'Architecture, yes, I, I guess you could say we're a bit more purist. And um, for example, one of the projects we're working on currently is a renovation project in Normandy. It's a renovation project on a, about 80 square meters house. It's a project that um, combines both renovation and an extension. We renovate a tiny sort of cottage, I think would be the English word to yes. describe Longère. <laughs> It's a brick made cottage that we reinstallate entirely uh, with uh, hemp and uh, mixed with mud. And we add to this uh, little cottage an extension that's made of uh, wood frames 
and uh, we try through this extension to reinterpret and uh, remodernize re the construction method of colombage, which I think is called a wood frame as well in, uh, in mm -hmm. English, that we insulate as well with, uh, with hemp and uh, mixed with mud. That is a reinterpretation of the technique called the torchy. That's very, very common in Normandy. So what we're trying to do with this project is to combine traditional knowledge and traditional um, practices with what we can do today with um, modern techniques, but still using natural materials coming from a very, very limited uh, area. So we, we defined constraints at the base of this project that were first working with traditional technique and natural materials, try not to use any concrete, try to use not any plastic, even though we, we, we had to, to um, do some concessions, and to use materials exclusively from less than uh, 100 kilometers. Uh, so through this project, we, we managed to put at stake our three uh, ways to practice our uh, architecture through construction, with, by choosing natural materials, by choosing natural materials from not afar, also, uh, research. We had to do a huge research to, uh, to find all the materials from less than 100 kilometers. We visited forests where the wood that is, that's in the house is from. We visited uh, hemp fields. We visited uh, traditional brick factories, uh, but uh, also carriers. To be aware and to be able to tell our clients, what's here in your house? It comes from there. It was transformed there. It was uh, set up this way, and this is how it's going to work in your house. So that's the research, and then we also do a transmission and teaching through this project. We um, welcomed three weeks ago, 14 volunteers came to our uh, construction site, to the house's construction site, to learn a technique, a traditional technique called les quenouilles, which is a way to make flooring mm -hmm. and to do a phonic insulation between different uh, floors. And it's a technique that's uh, made of wood sticks that you can literally uh, cut at the back of your garden and then around these wood sticks you sort of roll straw and mud just sort of sculpt it and then you, you put it um, in between your different purlins and that's it and then you let it dry for um, about three four weeks and you have a perfectly uh, insulated uh, phonically speaking floor in your house well, and it was a big success. And, and, and many, many people came to also visit the construction site, the participative construction. There were uh, more than 100 people that came from the village uh, next to the, the Castile. So it was a success, and I think we're going to do it again. Mm. Do you think it's a new methodology? Yeah, I think there's a huge potential behind this um, on the, the three different aspects, both constructions, research and pedagogy. Well, for, for example, regarding pedagogy, I think there's a, a very, very big potential in the fact that we know that many people would be ready to be volunteers, to learn new techniques, to learn things from a very, very knowledgeable uh, craftsmen. And uh, I think it, will, it would enable people that would think that they would not have enough money or enough uh, knowledge to build differently. But if they know that they're going to be accompanied by craftsmen that can also be teachers and train uh, other people for uh, techniques and know that volunteers would be interested in uh, working on these kind of techniques. People maybe would dare a bit more trying new things. So I think there's a potential behind this. Also, uh, yeah, I think regarding research, I think, uh, yeah, maybe it's a part of a new and different method methodology. At least it really feeds our practice uh, deeply and very intensely. Uh, I don't think we could imagine today building somewhere in France without getting interested in, in interested or focusing on what's both the traditional uh, techniques in these uh, these areas and also know what's um, what's the materials you can find uh, in different areas of France uh, because it's very very different in different regions. It will be stone in the southeast, it will be clay in the southwest, it will be wood frame in the northwest and uh, it's very rich. But and in terms of construction, it's a new methodology also because we, uh, well, we try new things. Mm -hmm. And do you think um, that it could be a replicable model all over the world? Yeah, I think many people must be doing the exact same thing uh, throughout the world. And uh, actually, it's uh, interesting what you think is because we, we were very, very uh, proud of uh, our project, the Tour de France, the Maison Ecologique, because we felt that there were starting to be many, many books that were published in the, in the past years 
about ecological architecture and very, very, very often uh, focusing on projects overseas mm. in Africa, South America, um, Australia. But the way we approached it is that we focused on France and we took time to discover our own country and our own the, the techniques that exist in our own lands. And it was already a huge work. I mean, it's uh, the different techniques you can uh, encounter in France is it's huge. So I think it's, uh, yeah, maybe it's replicable to different parts of the world, but I don't think uh, it would be the exact same way. Yes. It could be different. Mm. It could be made mm. differently. Mm. Okay. Uh, a last word? A conclusion? A uh, last word? Um, as uh, we often say with Matisse, what we really like in our practice is to raise questions and not um, propose answers. Because we are, um, we like to think that we learn things from people still, and more than we uh, we try to convince people of what we're doing. I mean, we we're still very, very uh, young and, uh, and naive on many things. And uh, <laughs> you are the future. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye everyone, and see you next Wednesday for our new Comme d'Archi in English. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comme d'Archi Podcast. If you like it, make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.